Hey there amazing art students, Michael here with the How to Draw and Paint channel. In this lesson uh, we're going to be using Smooth Draw on a tablet and I'm going to show you a couple of things with that, how to draw with Smooth Draw. And I'm testing out this uh, glove here, this artist glove for uh, pen displays and iPads and graphics tablets and light boxes. It was sent to me by Mutter and I uh, really want to thank the guys at Mutter for sending this out. If, um, if you want to try this out for yourself, I've got a link in the description to it. And uh, you can pick this up for under 10 bucks at Amazon.com. Um, actually, right now I saw it listed for about about six bucks. So um, one of the things about tablets is it's really nice to have this to make your hand easily slide back and forth, and it has this anti-fouling feature. It, it sort of cleans the display while you use it. Um, so there you go, the Mutter glove. Thanks to Mutter for sending that. Now let's go ahead and get started and. Um, I'm choosing right here the pen tool, so I'll click on that, and this is my uh, pen size, this is my color selector over here, so I'm going to select a black, and uh, it's really a nice application for a tablet. We'll do one of our favorite words, and that is the word love, and just sort of sketch that in here. And so now we'll draw one of our favorite words to draw on the How to Draw and Paint channel. We'll draw the word love. L O big V and E. Just like that. And uh, now we can give this a 3D effect. So uh, go ahead and pull some diagonals off the corners here. Pause the video at any time if you're following along. And right off that edge and right off that edge. So that is step two right there, getting your little um, edges worked out for your 3D effect. And then just come in and draw lines parallel don't worry about the little irregularities, we'll clean those up. All right, so uh, one thing that's nice is to have fun with these overshots a little bit here. Just go ahead and make that part of your design. It turns what could be mistakes into something that looks really cool. And now we'll go ahead and uh, hatch in some of this down here. You can do this design just as well with a Sharpie as you can on a tablet. Just starting there with the V. And if you have anything that doesn't look quite right, just just work over it and fix it. And the hatching is going to be a little darker here underneath. We're going to do that closer together. It's also a little darker up in these spaces where the letters come next to each other. Gotta do a little fixing right up in there. There we go. A little darker right here underneath the, uh, right here in this, in this gap, right where the O is. And now here, kind of dark right in there. I can let it go a little wider and then a little tighter right there. Now one of the things that um, this tablet, it's an older tablet and it generates some heat and so it's nice to have this glove on also because it, it's not like it really blocks a lot of heat but 
again, you know, my hand would start getting uh, warm and, uh, and it would uh, not flow smoothly across the surface. Alright, let's oh finish up this E part right here and then we're gonna put some color on this. One of our most popular words. So let's go ahead and select here the brush tool and uh, I'm gonna pick a color here like pink. I'm gonna do some pink and uh, see I'm gonna make this I'm still on the pen tool. I want to go to the brush tool. The f I'm sorry, that's the felt pen tool. There we go. Make that a little smaller. You can just click on this and drag in and out, or you can adjust this little brush size setting. I like how all the tools are right there and available to us. I think just being able to draw on a tablet is amazing and uh, it's always good to have great tools. Great tools and great art supplies can make a big difference in your work. All right, again, check the description for links. Uh, I'll put you in a link there for Smooth Draw and uh, for this um, this awesome glove right here. Let me go for um, a much lighter pink. Let's see if we can get a pretty color in there. I need it still lighter than that. Now I stepped a little bit over that, so I'm going to undo that last stroke here with a little... Uh, see, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to undo right here. Undo, undo. Click that a couple of times. One more time. Get rid of that little overlap there. What I could have done is probably used layers, and I could have actually painted behind the black. It takes a little bit of the challenge out of it. But that's one of the benefits of tablets, is getting to use layers in your drawings. Love the bold colors that you can get on a tablet. All right, now I'm going to come in with a little darkness down here and a couple of highlights and we'll be done. Let me go for a darker purple. I'm going to reduce the size here. I'm still using the felt tip marker. Even though you're on a tablet, let the let the strokes show. You know, let put some energy and some life into your work by letting the strokes show. And now on the light side, we'll go ahead with white and we'll put some highlight up here. Maybe a little bit right there. Maybe a little bit right there. And uh, there we have on a tablet the word love using the mutter glove. And so uh, we'll go ahead and finish this up with love the glove. And make that a little smaller. 
by Mutter. Thanks so much for watching. Check the link in the description and uh, you can go check this glove out and uh, be sure to comment if you've liked this video. Um, go ahead and subscribe. We'll have a lots more uh, cool lessons with drawing with smooth draw and other tools both digital and traditional and I uh, sure appreciate you watching. Have a great time drawing.